Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 10th of 2024 is titled The Light, the Dark, and the Dusty. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a region of the sky in the constellation of Cepheus. Now, that's one of the very far northern constellations, not all that far from the Dippers, which are very high in the northern sky. Now, it's also part of the sky that is near the plane of our galaxy. And that means we see a lot of star forming regions and other phenomena associated with star formation. So when we look here, we see a number of different things, including that red glow. And that red glow is part of an emission nebula. And the emission nebula glows red because of hydrogen gas when it is excited, which will give off uh, the red light. Now we also see blue color around some of these stars. The blue is a little bit different. The blue is a reflection nebula. It is actually dust grains around the stars so around a bright hot star and that scatters the light from the star and shows it up as reflection and that will look blue for a couple of reasons. First of all the stars involved are generally hot blue stars giving us the blue color. In addition, the blue light is more effectively scattered by the dust, and that allows us to see the blue color. And it's a very similar reason to why our sky is blue. The molecules in the atmosphere are very good at scattering blue light and not so good at scattering the longer wavelengths. And that gives us the blue color of our sky, and it also gives us the blue color of the reflection nebulae in our picture today. Now the other thing that we see is dark nebulae. So some dark dusty regions here and they're easy to pick out because you don't see much else through them. Either you'll see fewer stars or almost no stars in them. And there are some very prominent dusty regions here and we can see those especially off to the lower left hand side that there's big chunks of material there and there seem to be no stars there. Now, in reality, there are just as many stars in that region as anywhere else in the image. It's just that there is enough dust there to block out the light from those stars, so they are not seen. So it's not that there aren't stars there. There are stars behind the dust. We simply cannot see them. In essence, it becomes like trying to look through a wall. You can know there's things on the other side, but you can't see them because the wall is opaque. It blocks out all of the light coming through it and keeps you from being able to see. Now, what you can do, and in fact, images are made in the infrared of some of this, infrared light is better able to penetrate the dust. And if we looked at these dark regions in infrared, we would be able to look into these stellar nurseries, the very early points of star formation. Now, generally, they're hidden from us because they're within these dark nebulae. But using infrared light, we can actually look in and get a better understanding of how stars start to form. So that was our picture of the day for January 10th of 2024. It was titled The Light, the Dark, and the Dusty. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Unforgotten. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.